In the previous video, I've showed you how easy it is to define users when it comes to Mercado Access Control. Let's try to understand how we can give them rights to enter certain doors. And this is where, if you're setting this up for your company from scratch, you have to think about what makes most sense to you. My recommendation is keep it simple, keep all the names when it comes to access levels and groups very logical. So if somebody else picks up the management of this infrastructure, they won't have to reverse engineer to try to understand what is happening. In the most simplest terms, the way that we grant users access is via access levels. And the sole purpose of an access level is to group users via the groups that you place them in with doors and times. And this allows you to create and have that flexibility to define things such as the management can enter over the weekends versus regular employees that they can't. Um, IT contractors only allowed at certain times. Maybe janitors allowed only out of hours, etc. So let's see how we can do that. Clicking on a door, you'll see this access button here. This is where all the access levels are nested. And each door must have at least one access level. If not, nobody can get in. For each access level, you then define the groups of users, define the doors. So this particular door will appear through this list. And at even any given point, you can actually add the access level to other doors. Last but not least, you'll define the schedule. So this is where, for example, this door allows everybody in these groups to access it all the time but maybe i don't want them on saturdays so all i need to do is clear the schedule and that's it nobody can enter this room on saturdays if i want to restate it back all i need to do is click on the day toggle it to access granted and optionally define the times as well you'll see that there's lots of small tricks into command to make your job easier so for example if you want to access grant three different days, all you need to do is click them here and you don't need to do them three separate times. Now with each schedule, you also get exceptions. And this is where, for example, if you don't want certain employees to be in the office during Christmas, all you need to do is to create a new exception, specify the day or dates, and make sure that no access is defined. So once I save this, everybody in those groups will have access to that door, except on Christmas Day. One of the things that tricked me when I joined Verkada and I was trying to understand access control is that access levels are not global because if you think about it, each site is different, thus has the need for different parameters. So if you're looking for access levels inside the global settings, you won't find them because they are per site. So you need to select your site, access levels and then this is where you can actually define new ones another point with access levels is that you can have users and groups tied to multiple ones at the same time so for any given door if one access level doesn't allow you to enter at this time but another one does you will be allowed in and this creates more flexibility when you create these levels to, for example, define your front door and say, hey, all employees go there. You'll also notice for each door that besides an access tab, you also have a schedules one. Now you might be tempted to confuse that with the schedule that we just modified on the access level. But the reality is, is that this schedule applies to anybody who enters or exits the door, irrespective of the access levels. So you'll see here that the wording changes from access granted to access controlled. What this tells me is that this particular door at any given point is asking somebody to badge in in order to enter. If they can enter or not, that depends on their access levels. But at this particular point, every single person who's trying to enter needs to present certain credentials, whether they are cards or Bluetooth unlock, it doesn't really matter, but this door is access controlled all the time. So let's see what other options we have just by editing the schedule of this door. As you see here, 
the door schedule a menu is very very similar to the access levels one except it misses the groups because again it does apply to pretty much anybody who's trying to get in and if i click on a day you'll see that you have different options including unlocked so this is where the door is unlocked and anybody can get in no matter if they're employees if they have access levels anybody off the street can actually get in locked which means that even if you have an access level permitting you to enter that door at that time you will still not be able to get in and card plus code entry in the previous uh, video uh, when i showed you how you define a user you could see that you can generate a pin code for each and if you have a wigan based reader that has a pin pad what you'll now be able to do is to get the users not only to swipe their badge but also input their pin basically achieving two-factor authentication one setting to note here and this is quite a bespoke feature and is only useful if you have any sort of health and safety legal requirements is the first person in that keeps the particular door locked unless the first person who badges in is part of a certain group so if you have the requirements for example to make sure that you have somebody trained in first aid before you allow everybody else in all you need to do is to get your first aiders part of a certain group and define it here so if the first person who badges in in the morning does not belong to that group the site will be locked and it can only be unlocked when somebody else belonging to the first aid group comes in last but not least schedules are global so they are not defined per site um, and at any given point you can remove them modify them or add them from this menu here once you do so all you need to do is click on a particular door click on the schedule and change it another difference from access levels is while you can define multiple access levels on a particular door you can only have one schedule and as for the access level each schedule also has exceptions so if your aim is for example that nobody can get in christmas day you do that via the schedule because it applies to pretty much everybody while if you want to be more granular and only allow certain people to come on christmas day you'll do that via their access levels because again the schedule would dictate the global setting of that door does apply to everyone now i packed a lot of information in this video and i do remember that it was a bit tricky for myself to get my head around schedules versus levels at the beginning but keep this simple schedule applies to anybody who's going through the door if you want to have granularity you have to do it via the access levels if you have any questions about these topics do drop me a comment and i'll get back to you as soon as i can